here we are again another walk in the park there's the uh, there's the boy himself a couple of you said you enjoyed getting out so out we are again well I, i'm out a lot more than you see me quite frankly i'm trying to work off trying to walk off the pringles really but anyway so in this episode of walk in the park i've even given it a name there you go um i was thinking about david moyes and and Maybe the sort of reluctance to give him the praise that he deserves. I, I suggested... Excuse me, sorry, he's, he's cutting me up. Um, I suggested he about there was a sort of begrudging acceptance, even when Declan Rice plays well, for people to say, yeah, OK, yeah, he's all right, you know, that sort of thing. No one's sort of gushing about him. And when I was thinking about David Moyes... You've only got to look at the league table, look at the points, the plus goal difference, all, all the bits and pieces. So he's getting now off some people as a grudging acceptance. But I still feel that he almost has to win three games to get grudging acceptance and only lose one to get the I told you so's. I knew it. There you go, he lost. I knew it, I knew it. Told you. No good, no good. No good with the subs, no good with the tactics, all that sort of thing. Three wins... You know, whatever. Move up the table. So, yeah, yeah, OK. Well, but he still gets, we'll see. And I think a lot of that, I think some of it's down to his sort of demeanour, the way he is, the way he's, um, well, he sort of carries himself. He's not he's not charismatic, is he? He's not a, not a massive character. Um, not particularly loud. Keeps things private. Um, I think a bit of it's down to that. I think a bit of it's down to the fact that he is a defensive manager. There's no point in pretending otherwise. I think a bit of it's to do with the culture of the club. We've now kept four clean sheets in a row. I don't know, maybe someone else will go and do the, uh, do the research on it. <laughs> Perhaps it's my job, really. Perhaps I should have done research on it. But I'm, I'm just a bloke... Oh, blimey, it's boggy, Danny. I'm just a bloke walking around in the park, um, having a chat to a camera whilst... There's some proper, proper footballers over there, did you see? Um, they've, got the, they've got the ball set out and everything. They're really... They're really going for it, those boys. Um, anyway, yeah, so I, I don't know, but I can't remember when the last time was that we might have only, con- you know, got four clean sheets in a row. I don't know, it's very un-West Ham. I've said before, the goal difference is very un-West Ham. I wonder if that plays a part in the sort of apathy towards David Moyes. The fact that he's got to work three times harder to impress than he does to sort of confirm what a lot of people think, which is he ain't right. I, I'm quite impressed with it, and I think I'm, I'm having to grow to, to love not love. Actually, maybe that's a, that's a strong word, love. Maybe I'm into grow to appreciate the defensive aspects, the, the headers and the, um, you know, the keeping of the clean sheets and the backs to the wall. But I think I am getting more used to it because even though Burnley went on the attack more and more, towards the end, I didn't feel that they were going to score. And I think that is just the confidence of, of us having a tight defence. Oh, my goodness. Right, look, I'm trying to go into the woods here. Look at that. Oh, mate. That is nasty. Nasty. Oh, my word. Oh, this ain't good. Oh, dear. That's nasty. Maybe maybe a walk in the woods wasn't a good idea. It's been raining an awful lot. Anyway. Um, so, I, I think I've had to learn to appreciate... What David Moyes is doing, and it's making me more—it's making me more confident with the defensive tactics. However, I think he's still got a long road ahead. It does seem like a long time since we had those three and four nil wins um, against Wolves and against Leicester. But and they probably don't. Both those teams play a more expansive brand of football than us. Leicester are doing absolutely fine. They won again, of course, against a, a decent Southampton team, didn't they? Wolves, not so much. And I think if you'd have said last season that actually this season we would do better than Wolves, um, you know, everyone would have laughed. But but we are. We are. We're more consistent with them. Um, as soon as we have a little bit of a bad run, we bounce back. Well, it's not even a bad run. We have a bad defeat. We bounce back. It's as simple as that. I've come the wrong way, yeah? That's what happens when you're talking to a phone whilst walking through the woods. Um, the consistency and the, the level of... Just the level of performance that he seems to be getting out of the team... Him and his coaching staff is is absolutely phenomenal. I do think you've got to put a lot of um, a lot of praise his coaching staff's way, but also you know not not also forget Moyes' part in it. Anyway, there you go. That's just what I thought. There was something else that about the system and about 
the fixture congestion and something else that I wanted to say and that's the player we've been linked with today and his name is um, I'm using my phone to record so I can't check I think it's Yosef N. Nesri it's about right place was Sevilla right so we're linked to him apparently someone in the athletic who are a reputable source of information someone in the athletic had suggested that we would bid we'd bid 23 million for him um it's not a normal tabloid nonsense but i don't know the journalist but i'll go and check him out not a bad player as soon as i saw him i thought yes i can believe this and why could i believe it well i could believe it because i could see him playing in moise's system that one again He's tall, he's about six foot two. He's quick, he's quick enough, not, not rapid. So he reminded me of a little bit. Yosef, it's another Yosef, two Yosefs. Um, they, they all play the same, the Yosefs, um, and they're all tall. Yosef Paulson at uh, Red Bull. Very, very good player. In fact, someone I expected us to sign. Really rapid, six foot four, six foot five, something like that. Good player. Sort of player I'd expect us to be interested in. But, um, but anyway, so this um, N Nesri, Decent, same same sort of thing, quite skillful, gangly, doesn't fall over as much as deer, which is obviously always a bonus. And um, I don't know, I just I just looked at it. 23 million, a lot of money. It's all the hell their money, apparently they've turned it down. Um, but anyway, I thought it was I thought it was quite believable. The other thing that made me uh, sort of look more into the story is that story came out the other day. Excuse me, I've got to swap this hand. I've got to swap. There you go. That's better. I've got I'll hold the dog that aside now. I'll make. Um, was the other day that it was suggested that David Moyes had not revealed all of his targets? Well, I don't think he's revealed any of his targets. The point being was that a lot of the names that we might have seen um, might not be true. And that's, I guess that's fair enough, you know. Uh, why not? And in fact, I think that really should be the way. I wouldn't blame David Moyes for sending a little bit of a little bit of smoke and mirrors, a bit of misinformation out there, just to just to suggest that we're signing somebody and actually we're up for somebody completely different. Don't know how long you can keep this stuff secret for, but as I've said in, in the more recent transfers, we seem to be able to keep it relatively secret up until about two or three days before the transfer happens. And bearing in mind we are in the January window, we really are probably only two or three days away from when a transfer could happen because we're halfway through the month. So maybe the names we're seeing now are going to be more realistic than some of the other names that we've seen in the past. Um, we've been linked with 19 strikers now. Actually, there was another two today. Their names, I can't remember. Um, no, I really can't. I think one of them was at Real Madrid, possibly. One of them was uh, playing in France. Don't know, don't know. Um, but anyway, I wouldn't be surprised if we do sign someone who hasn't, wasn't on that original list. You know, your Dakas, your Dias, your Simbas, your, your Watsits, Plossics. He's gone quiet. Shame. Shame that that rumour's gone quiet. Liked him. Uh, but this player looks all right. I wouldn't be that disappointed. I prefer this one to some of the others, certainly. Uh, he, ain't, he ain't massively prolific, as I said. So, um, But actually, I think he suits the system really, really well. Uh, just before I go, Peach sent me... Peach sent me about four or five videos this weekend. So, apologies, Peach. Got so much to do, I can't upload them all. But he, just, he sent me another one today. Wasn't really a match review or anything like that. He'd been watching Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and he was—he couldn't believe when a certain question was asked. Oh, I ain't even playing. Watch this, dog. Watch this, dog. What is the name of West Ham United's homegrown? Yo, watch this. And if you thought he was excitable then. Just listen to how he reacted when the geezer got it wrong. Oh, don't go wrong. Don't go wrong. You joking me? Stanford put his Chelsea, dog. There you go. What? Why would he know? Why should he know? Seemed weird seeing the old name up, up there, didn't it? Really? Anyway, right. Now both my arms are aching. I'm going to go.